I'm now ready to exit the sketch and go from 2D geometry to a 3D feature. Exit sketch is available from the corner icon with the pencil and the return arrow or exit sketch from the command manager. Click exit sketch. Blind is displayed by default in the extrude property manager. With the spin box icon, I enter 30. If you cannot see your model, press the Shift Z key or Z key to zoom in and out. Click OK from the Extrude Property Manager. Extrude 1 is displayed in the box. This is the Feature Manager. If I expand Extrude 1, I will see Sketch 1. This is my original sketch. Click Next. I just created my first feature. Click Save from the main toolbar. Enter the name Tutor1 for file name. You may have to select a specific location to place your documents. For now, I utilized My Documents as the Save In File folder. Click Save and click Next for the next feature, which is sketching a boss. In the View toolbar, you'll see a series of icons that control your display type. Between Wireframe, Hidden Lines Removed, Hidden Lines Visible, Shaded with Edges, Shaded, Shaded with Shadows, or Section View. I'm going to use Hidden Lines Removed. Click Extruded Boss Base from the Features toolbar, Select a plane, which will become your sketch plane for the boss. Click Next. Click Circle from the Sketch toolbar. Sketch a circle on the front face. Notice how my pointer contains the circle icon. Click Next from the tutorial. I need to dimension the position of the circle. Smart Dimension. Click the center point of the circle, click the top horizontal edge, click a position to the right to place the dimension. Repeat again to reference the circle's center point from the vertical edge. Click the center point of the circle, click the vertical edge, and place the dimension. I now need to modify these dimensions. Double click on the circle double click on the horizontal dimension and enter 60 click the green check mark double click on the vertical dimension and enter 60 click the green check mark click the diameter dimension click a position off the dimension and notice now the circle is displayed in black and fully defined click next this dimension needs to be 70 so I'm going to double click on the dimension, enter 70, and click the green check mark. I check to make sure that I'm following the tutorial. I have a dimension, diameter, two dimensions, horizontal and vertical, to position the circle. Next, I will select Exit Sketch. The Extrude Property Manager is displayed. I need to enter a value of 25 for depth. The preview shows me what my circle extruded will look like. Click OK. Click Next to see what your next step is.